So I'm back again today. I returned some change to the bank, and uh, while I was there, I asked them what they could give me, and this is what they came up with. It's not a whole lot, and I wasn't even going to shoot a video, but then I thought, you know, what if? There's always that what if there's something epic in one of these rolls, so I figured I might as well record it just in case. Let me clear some of this out of the way. I got four rolls of nickels, eight rolls of pennies, 12 rolls of quarters, and five rolls of halves. Those halves came from the same bank that uh, I've had my last three finds on, so hopefully we get something more in those. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, move this out of the way and we'll open up some of these halves uh, live just in case there is silver in them. See you soon. Here we are with roll number one. Let's check and see if we've got any silver. And not looking like it. One second. Roll number two. And no silver. I'll check these all for varieties off, off camera and then come back if I find anything. Let me grab another roll. Roll number three. Nada. Roll number four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think. Nope. Just two back to back. Hate when that happens. All right. Let me grab the last. Excuse me. The last roll. Roll. Number five. And I'm not seeing no silver. Let me uh, run through these and see if we get any varieties, and then I'll be back. Well, no varieties and no silver and no magic. But I did end up getting a 2002 out of Philly. Pretty good shape. And a 2018 out of Denver. Also in good shape. Since I've only got four rolls of nickels, let's rip into those next. Well, I'm on the fourth and final roll, and towards the end, I thought for sure we weren't going to get nothing, but I came across a 1948 from Denver. Let's just check here. Uh, walls intact. That 76 has got some crazy toning on it. Is there any pair of shape though? And that one looks like it was a, a coffee filter. <laughs> Pretty beat up. Well, one find from the 40s. Let me grab the pennies. Well, eight rolls. Let's crack into roll number one. Well, that didn't take long. About eight coins in, and we got our first line there. That is a... 1944 wheat cent out of Denver. Same roll, and I just came across this 1984 from Philly. I'm not positive. I snapped a picture of it with my microscope. Let me jump over there. Maybe you could answer this in the comments below. I've had mixed reports on this double ear variety, so take a look at this. Okay, as you can see, right here, it somewhat looks doubled, but I'm not sure if that's the actual double die. Like I said, maybe you can comment below and let me know if I got a 84 double die. I'll put it aside just in case. Let's see what else we can find. Well, I'm on roll number seven, 
and weed scent number two. Oop. And that is a 1945 out of Philly. <coughs> well, I wasn't expecting a lot out of eight rolls, but I did have a couple finds. That 44 from Denver, the 45. 68s, 269s, 271s, and a 74s. And then I also got that questionable 1984 that I'm hoping one of you can comment on. So at least I didn't go gluten free. Ha ha ha. Caught a couple weeds. Let's rip through 12 rolls quarters. Well, I'm on roll one, and as I've mentioned in a few other of my videos, you can watch for these on the 2018 North Dakotas. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right here on the top of his hat, whoop, excuse me, you can see he's got a really nice cut on there. Let me throw it on the microscope, and maybe we can get a better picture at it. So as you can see in the top of Roosevelt's hat there, he's got a massive die chip on there. I think this is the biggest one I've found so far. Pretty cool. I didn't see any of the other ones. There's usually one, oh, there's one there too on his holster. And then let's check the nose of the horse. And looks like he's got the booger too. Pretty cool find I guess. Let's see what else we can find. Well, 12 rolls searched and no major finds. I found uh, two U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands, one Denver, one Philadelphia, 2009, and then a District of Columbia, Denver, 2009. Three of the Bicentennials, two Phillies and one Denver, non-DDO. Came across this. Uh, I think this is a 2005 Minnesota from Denver that's in really nice shape and then we got that 2016 North Dakota with the huge die break chip on the rim of his hat there and then I think the best thing that I found today was I came across this beautiful 1982 Denver Washington quarter. The back is absolutely flawless, but the front's got a little bit of a little bit of wear, not much. One little neck there on the neck. I may even send this one for grading. Well, tomorrow is a bank order day, and I think I do have a couple boxes coming in, so hopefully we can do a box of nickels and a box of pennies. Like always, I'll have a link up above and down below to my eBay page in case you're interested in some collectible coins. And uh, as always, happy hunting and thanks for watching.